I'm very happy to be able to talk to you today. Today, I want to talk about novel visible light positioning system using luminance distribution across the floor. Figure 1 shows the overview of our proposal. Our proposal is novel visible light positioning system using pattern matching. It can achieve high positioning accuracy without using direct light signals and has the potential to realize positioning with less computational effort and power consumption. So, I would like to start with the background of our study. Today, there are various applications for indoor positioning. For example, it can be used to guide people in an office, navigate robots in a factory, or guide customers in a shopping mall. With these backgrounds, global indoor localization-based services market is expanding day by day. However, even after decades of research, a simple and robust indoor localization solution is yet to be found. We focused on VLP. VLP has an advantage of low-cost, widespread use of LEDs, high positioning accuracy. On the other hand, the disadvantages are limited coverage of the system, difficulty of capturing multiple LED signals, and necessity of high-resolution imaging. Our proposal tried to address these issues. Our method is based on received signal strength and its distribution across the floor. It does not require direct light, but instead captures the reflected light from the floor surface. Since there is no need to capture the light directly, the burden on the user is reduced and the system coverage is expanded. It also eliminates the need for high-resolution camera to analyze the LEDs through image processing. We compared existing VLP methods with a proposed method. Accuracy means the 90th percentile of the positioning error of the system. Loss means the system uses direct light signals and endless means system does not exploit to use the direct light signals. Left leg also utilizes the floor reflected light from the floor. It is more sensitive to shadows and objects than our method because it uses only 32 times 32 pixels at the center of the screen. We achieved better accuracy since our method is more generalized. However, Reflect is able to achieve real-time positioning. Luxapos can compute the position and posture of a smartphone by capturing ceiling light signals directly using a camera. The error is less than 10 cm and less than 3 degrees. It uses 7,700 travel times 5,000 360 pixels in a Windows Phone 8 smartphone camera as a receiver, and the calculation requires a cloud server for high-quality image processing. Starit is a VLP system using floor reflections and utilizing RSS2. To capture the ID tags from a single LED, the authors leverage the rolling shutter mechanisms in, in a smartphone camera. Starit achieved a 90th percentile error of 75cm and a response time of 0.87 seconds on average. But they also noted that vertically spreading shadows can cause failures in positioning. In this slide, 
we described two preliminary studies we conducted before developing the proposed methodology. The first is that, assuming a flat four, the reflected light decays according to a gradient model whose peak is just below the LED. Our previous work has shown that the decay of the reflected light on the lambda floor surface can be approximated by the hyperbolic second distribution of two-dimensional distance between camera and the LED. Second, the decay of the luminance of the reflected light on the floor can be observed even at a distance of several meters from the point directly under the LED. These two observations indicate possibility to estimate the camera coordinate using pattern matching. In this slide, I describe the relationship between received signal strength and distance. Figure 8 shows distance d between the point directly under the LED and the point where the camera is capturing. We know that there is a relationship between distance d and the observed RSS as shown in this equation. This relationship is also shown in figure 6. We can formulate the error function E by subtracting RSS on theory from observed RSS. By summing up whole error function about LEDs and the image sensors, we can think of a positioning problem as an optimization problem. We adopted the Gauss-Newton method to solve this problem. In this slide, this is the implementation of our experiment. We conducted our, our experiment in 3.5 times 3.5 square area with four LEDs mounted on the heat sink on the ceiling. A 5 volt signal from a function generator was amplified to 39.60 volts using a power driver and a power supply. This slide shows you the arrangement of LEDs. This arrangement is the same as that of the fluorescent lamps originally installed in the building. Because the frame rate of the camera was 50 Hz, respective frequencies were set 101 Hz, 106 Hz, 113 Hz, and 120 Hz to call the aliasing. In our research, we conducted three experiments. The first was a simple positioning test to evaluate the proposal method, where we conducted 100 positioning tests at 64 locations each. The experimental environment is shown in figure 12. Also, the point gray camera and the tripod is shown in figure 13. In this slide, you see the result of the, of the first experiment. Figure 14 shows the positioning error map. Blue circle represents the coordinates of the actual position. Red circles represent the average value of 100 position attempts. And others represent positioning errors. We found that shadows and other objects have a significant impact on positioning accuracy. For example, the image is at 1.5,3.5 and 3.5,0.0 are covered by shadows or objects with these two points having the worst overall positioning accuracy. From the result of the experiment 1, we also found that the central area which is surrounded by LEDs, 
tend to have higher positioning accuracy than the outer areas. Figure 17 shows the cumulative distribution of function of positioning error. As a result, a 90th percentile of 32 cm was achieved. In the second experiment, we removed shadows manually from the images. In the figure 18, an example of removing tripod shadow is shown. This experiment is conducted to evaluate the impact of shadows and other objects. On the left panel, you see the positioning error map of a second experiment after removing shadows. The point here is that the positioning results at two points, uh, 1.5, 3.5, and 3.5,0.0 were greatly improved. In addition, positioning in the neighborhood of LEDs tended to improve the accuracy. Figure 20 shows the cumulative distribution function of positioning error and achieved 22 cm of 90th percentile. Finally, we investigated the relationship between the number of pixels used and the positioning accuracy. The two locations, 1.5,2.5 and 1.0,2.0, which were unaffected by shadows or objects, were selected for the experiment and gradually reduced the number of pixels used. Figure 21 shows that the positioning accuracy tends to decrease as the number of pixels used decreases. The important point here is that even positioning using 2000 pixels has achieved less than 10 cm. This shows that it is possible to implement a positioning system that can operate in real time by reducing the number of pixels used and computational cost, if necessary. In our proposed method, we obtain the 2D coordinates of the camera without consideration of the camera posture. However, a theoretical analysis is possible for cases where the pitch angle of the camera is considered. In such cases, the camera's pitch angle theta can be very fleeting while maintaining the level and two-dimensional distances between camera and LEDs can be formulated by these equations. Similarly, it should be possible to increase the low and the yield angles in the calculation and the camera's posture can be estimated. This slide is about power consumption. The power consumption of the camera used in our experiment was 3 watt. Although the full image sensing capacity of, of the camera was used in the proposed method, sufficient positioning accuracy should be achieved even with a much smaller number of pixels as described in section 5.3. If only the necessary minimum of the image sensor capacity is activated, the required power consumption can be reduced. Conclusion and future work We achieved a 90th percentile error of 22 cm after removing shadows. Also, investigations showed that our proposed method can achieve high positioning accuracy in endless environments. Furthermore, we have shown that our proposal has the potential to achieve positioning with less computational effort and power consumption. In future work, 
we aim to extend the purpose method to posture estimation and real-time positioning. Thank you for listening.